This is the best way to make money online as a complete beginner. I'm gonna show you exactly how I made $1.9 million in commissions with no experience. How I was also making $300, $200 a day, and I'm even gonna show you exactly how I made my first $100 a day, and even my first $20 online. Now here's the thing, when I first got started making money online, I didn't care about making millions of dollars. I didn't care about traveling around the world even. I didn't even care about you know doing all these things like getting an expensive house or a nice you know watch. All I really cared about was having freedom for myself. And I just didn't actually believe that I could ever make money. You know, I would see other people on social media and I was like, that can never work. They're smarter than me, they have more money than me. I can never actually become successful. And for the longest time, I just did not believe in myself because my entire life, I've never made money online. My parents have never made money online. Every single person in my college or high school or my, my town that I grew up in, no one ever made money online. And for me to wanna be the first person in my area to go to and wanna make money online, Everyone generally thought I was insane and crazy, which is why when I saw people online making six figures a year or millions of dollars a year, I was like, well, that can never be me. And it wasn't until I found my first way to make money online and got my first belief check did I start realizing that, hey, actually, this is possible. And it's actually not the hardest thing. Like, check this out. I literally would copy and paste pictures on Walmart. Check this out. This is a $598 on Walmart. And I literally throw it up on eBay. Check this out, $827. Right, And my earliest ways to go to make money was I didn't even have any skills because it was like my entire life I was supposed to be a dentist, so I was doing biology, math, and science. Right, I didn't know about sales or marketing or copywriting or, or managing fulfillment and inventory. So I was like, okay, let me just copy and paste pictures. And anybody could go in and do this. I literally did this to the point where I was making $100 a day and it was very simple. Say I found this camera on like, for example, you know, Walmart, right? I would copy and paste this picture Throw it up on eBay, bump it up several dollars or $50 or $100 more. If I got a sale on, for example, eBay, I would already have the shipping details and the customer's money. So I would literally go ahead and buy this product on Amazon or on Walmart or on some other website at a lower price and I would literally ship it directly to the customer with the customer's money. And in return, I would literally pocket the difference. Again, doing this alone, I was finally able to make $100 a day and I didn't feel that much of a loser or crazy because it was like, it was finally working. It was consistent too. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to find a way that was just like, if I can just make $100 a day, then I could finally afford going out to dinners with my friends. Because it was like, they came from wealthier families than I did, and I just felt like a loser when they're like, hey, we're gonna go to dinner. And I'm like, I'm gonna stay at home because I have no money. And it freaking sucked, and it was embarrassing. And again, doing this alone got me to $100 a day. Now, a second way that you could actually go ahead and make money online, and you don't need any experience whatsoever, is just learning how to create t-shirts and sell them on print on demand. You can start making $150 a day doing this method. Now, you don't need to have a graphic designer, you don't need to go ahead and hire anyone, you, need to, you don't need to go ahead and have a bunch of t-shirts just hanging out in your living room. You can literally, with Etsy and Printful, and Mid Journey start creating t-shirts like very, very fast. Like literally there's people buying these cat t-shirts on Etsy, right? And some of these people have literally made 7,000 in sales. So imagine the profit that they've already made from that. And all they're doing is they're taking pictures that they're essentially talking to Mid Journey and saying, hey, create this AI generated picture of a leopard or a cat or something, and they're putting it into Printful, which then goes on to Etsy, and when someone actually makes a sale from Etsy, you get the customer's like details, as well as their money. Then, Printful buys the t-shirts with the customer's money, not yours, and you essentially pocket the difference. Like doing this alone, there's literally people doing $150 a day just with Etsy and with AI technology. You don't need to need a graphic designer, you don't need to be smart, you don't need to have some crazy like degree in graphic design. You can literally get started right now. Now, one of the other ways that I started doing, and this is what started really changing my life, was when I went from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year. Now here's the thing, this is now for years, I've been playing around with eBay, with Etsy, with Walmart, and I started realizing, okay, I'm like doing this free traffic game, I'm essentially ranking for these keywords, but I was stuck, okay? With all these ways that are easy to make money online, understand that there is a point where it eventually you get stuck at $100 to $200 a day, which is a good problem to have because when I didn't have much money like coming up, I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna complain for an extra $100 to $200 a day part-time, but I wanted to get to the next level. And I knew to get to the next level, I had to go ahead and leave my copy and pasting paths and literally start learning some skills. 
Because when it comes to anything in life, if you want to make more money, you need to learn some skills. And if you don't have the money that you want in your bank account, it's because you do not yet have the skills to actually grow it. Does that make sense? So the first skill that I started learning is I'm like, okay, how can I go ahead and package this cheap grill mat on eBay as if it was my own product? Well, I'm like, okay, well, if I'm gonna go ahead and post things on Etsy and eBay, there's gonna be a lot of competition, right? And it's gonna be hard. And I was thinking, I was like, well, what if I just throw it on my own website? But I didn't know how to create a website. So I started realizing that, oh, you can actually create a website in like an hour or two just with Shopify's templates. And this is where a lot of big time e-commerce people literally sell their products and it literally takes like an hour to go in and build a shop. I then literally grabbed this, sent one to my home, had my sister and my dad start taking pictures of it, and we started posting it on Shopify to the point where it's like now I didn't have any competition because all of the products were on my website belonged to me. And essentially, I had all these products, but I did not hold any inventory. The reason why is because inventory is freaking expensive. Essentially, what happened is once I had all these you know, products on my website, I was like, okay, well, eBay and Etsy, people are already searching for products to go ahead and want to buy. No one's searching for my product on my Shopify store because no one knows what my store is. So this is when I realized, I'm like, oh, I need a stack of skill on top of this. So I understood website building, took me like a day to figure it out, and then an hour to build. And again, I'm telling you, I'm not the smartest person in the world. And if I was able to do it, what's stopping you? The next step that I was like, oh, I need a stack, you know, something like, for example, uh, advertising. And I started starting advertising and email marketing and copywriting. And I just did it out of necessity because I did not want to go and become a dentist. I just generally did not want to be stuck in a job that I hated for the rest of my life, feeling like a slave to it, and then dying without ever having the chance of fully living. And I just freaked out to the point where I literally had to make this work. And that's when I went from zero to 1.5 million in 12 months. And it's all because I went from my copy and pasting mentality to, oh, how can I go ahead and stack some skills? And here's the thing. People don't understand that if you really want to make money online, you need to learn some skills. And there's so many skills that you could learn. The biggest problem is what you're actually going to focus on. And here's the thing. You don't have to learn all of these skills like what I did to go from zero to 1.5 million in 12 months. All you really need is one skill. And if you really want to know the best skill, then all you got to do is sign up for this free workshop below or go to mikefasile.com forward slash free workshop because there is a brand new opportunity where there's multi-millionaires that are willing to go ahead and partner with people just like you. They'll pay you huge commissions while they do all the hard work with a very little to no risk to you. And it's brand new this year and the craziest thing is not a lot of people are talking about this. So I would highly recommend that you sign up for it in the free workshop in the link below. Which leads me to the best way to go ahead and make money online and this is something that accidentally made me $1.9 million in commissions. Now here's the thing. When you first get started, I remember when I left America, right? I, I essentially told my mom, I'm like, mom, give me one year to make six figures. And if not, I'll literally go back to dental school. And she was crying because she's like super Asian. And she was like, I failed as an Asian mother because I'm not going to get a degree from you. And I've told all of your aunties at Bible study that, you know, you're going to become a dentist. And now I'm so embarrassed. And I'm like, mom, just give me a year. And I essentially flew one way trip ticket at Thailand where I was like, okay, I need to find a bunch of multimillionaires because I need to surround myself around wealth. And if I'm around people that are freaking wealthy, it will just rub off on me. And I started realizing that there's a lot of people that when I started bumping into accidental like multimillionaires in Thailand and in Bali, I realized that they all had the same business model. It was simply this. They were getting some type of traffic from advertising or social media. Then it was going to some type of content to go ahead and build a relationship. And then it turned into a conversation and then turned into a phone call and then turned into a deal. And then bam, they were selling like 5K, 10K, 50K, 20K packages. And I started realizing, huh, I could literally start my own business, which is hard, right? I have to do the shipping, the handling, the customer service, all of this stuff. Or here's a multimillionaire that has already done all of this hard work. And all I have to do is just fill in one of these boxes and they'll pay me huge money. Like here, this ad, if I do that for a successful business owner, that's literally social media marketing, right? But if you don't like running ads, if you don't want to go out and find clients, another thing you could do is creating content, right? You could literally be like an affiliate marketer or for example, someone that builds the websites. Another one, you could do conversations in the DMs and the phone. That's essentially what is called an appointment setter. There's people in our community that make five grand a month with appointment setting, just texting people and booking Zoom calls for people. They're not even closing. And then you have something called a high ticket closer where you can literally close remotely and do this from anywhere in the world. And because of that, there's people that have like 5K, they'll literally go ahead and pay you 10% commission 
for every single deal that you close. But here's the thing, you're not running any ads, you're not doing any content, you're not doing any of the conversations. All you're essentially doing is talking to people that already wanna buy your product, and if you literally go ahead and close the deal based off of these simple scripts that anybody could go ahead and do, then you will essentially get paid $500 for every single deal that you close. Well, oh, Mike, I don't wanna close. I don't wanna go ahead and do any sales. Well, then you can do appointment setting. You can literally go ahead and text messages, right, and literally go ahead and book Zoom calls for successful CEOs, and they'll pay you $250 commissions for every single person that essentially turns into a deal later on. So it's kinda of like affiliate marketing, but it's better because now you're not doing any of the marketing. It's literally you found the biggest leverage point that will make you the most money with the least amount of effort and it is the fastest skill to go ahead and learn. And if you wanna go ahead and learn exactly what that is, then I highly recommend that you check out the brand new Silver Lining Method in the free workshop in the link below or go to mikevaseal.com forward slash free workshop.